It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show. It is our daily mission to try to bring you some news that you could use. Today would be no exception to the rule. Follow me on Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our website is obnradio.com and the 24-hour dial-in message line 713-570-6736. And without any further delay, we will jump right into today's episode. University of Texas dodges a bullet. Texas A&M advances. And Tennessee is taken down. Those are the highlights, if you would, of the 2022 Super Regionals Baseball Tournament for the NCAA. Tennessee falling to Notre Dame in what is considered to be the shock thus far of the College World Series playoffs. Of course, Tennessee, the number one team in the nation, they took on the SWAC champions, Alabama State. And even though Alabama State lost by the score of 13-4, to I'm sorry, uh, they didn't lose 13-4, they lost 13-4 to to Georgia Tech. They, They were shut out. You saw where there could have been some things maybe tweaked here, there, or the other way uh, in favor for Alabama State, which is what makes college baseball so intriguing to me. You can't get a number one seed like a Georgia or Alabama losing to a program, even though Notre Dame is not a shabby program, but let's be obvious about the situation. There are leaps and bounds in differences of the program. Now, Notre Dame will go on in advance, but with Tennessee losing, this has got to be a big blow to the program and somewhat shaking up things for those that would be in control of the NCAA tournament. You always want to see your top seeds advance, but that was not the case for the Tennessee Volunteers. Now, I bring all this up because I am on record and will continue to be on record for stating, even though there is not a lot of money being made in college baseball, if you are to invest in a sport that could make a huge impact almost overnight it would be your baseball program now we know that pitching is going to always be a premium and it's been shown in these super regionals these programs have been giving up 13, 12, 9, 10 runs which is a lot for baseball and I believe if we change the approach and when I say we I'm talking about FCS programs, HBCU programs, change their approach of how they offer up their pitching in comparison. Our best pitching won't really hold a candle up to some of these larger programs pitching. That's just the way it is. But I think you can somewhat outmanage, outcoach them by using bullpen by committee by being a little bit more aggressive at the plate and aggressive on the base pads. It's a formula that has been proven to be successful. It's a formula that can work on our level, but it's just a matter of seeing it through from beginning to end. Back to my point. If somehow some way the athletic programs throughout the conference can increase their support financially by 25% of baseball programs across the board you could begin to see something truly truly beautiful in the world of HBCU baseball It's something that can be done, in my opinion, something that should be done. But the question is, will it be done? 
the world may never know. But we'll continue to try and see what the end is going to be. Now, we here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network are always looking for ways to improve our form of information gathering, information sharing, reporting, and broadcast coverage throughout, whether it's high school or collegiate. And we are looking for willing and able bodies to want to be a part of our program and our movement that we're working on here at the Open Mic. You don't have to have much experience. You don't have to have any experience at all to be exact. You could be male, female, black, white, short, tall, uh, interested or not so much interested. But if you have a willingness to learn, be trained, we would welcome you with open arms. If you would be one of those who would like to be considered, simply leave a message on our 24-hour message line, 713-570-6700. We've added a couple thus far and looking to add a couple more. But you can come and be a part of something extremely beautiful and something that is going to have a positive impact on our institutions that make up the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Doesn't matter if you're in Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Florida, Arkansas. And of course, Texas, you are welcome to come and be a part of the program. That number again is 713-570-6736, or you can send us an email to ombnetwork at gmail.com. That is ombnetwork at gmail.com. I am going to exit stage left for right now. Once again, congratulations to the Notre Dame Fighting Irish pulling off the upset. And let's give props to East Carolina. They gave University of Texas more than they could bargain for as well. But that's, again, what makes baseball so great. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Thank you guys so much for joining in with us. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. Subscribe to the YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Click on the bell button and never miss any updates or special reports we have from the network. And until the next time, you guys be blessed and we'll see you on the other side.